Hello everyone, Epic Eclipse here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get on the volleyball map and play on it. It's a little glitchy, but we kind of figured it out how to do it in an exhibition. So basically, like the other video that I posted, you have to do that steps to create um, the volleyball test map onto a normal map, and then basically launch that in an exhibition, and you can use the mutators and play on it. So that's pretty much how it works. Alright guys, I know in the video I was going to say just go back to my other video and look at it. But disregard that because I'm just going to put it in right now. And I will show you guys how to play the volleyball map um, just in this video as well. So what you'll have to do is the same as before is go to your new volume or whatever drive it's in. Go to your Steam file. Then you'll have to go to Steam apps. Then common my bad, I didn't click that right, common, then you'd have to go down to Rocket League, it's not capitalized, so I don't know why, and then TA Game, and then Cooked PC Console. So in here, it's a whole bunch of files, you have to use this to scroll. So the first thing you'll be looking for is Test Volleyball. Now, I don't have it here, it's like Test Something Volleyball, it'll be under, if you go scroll down, it'll be to T, uh, which would be about right uh, I'm actually having a hard time following it would be like about right here pretty much with the ease yeah like right here within these files so you do that and then after that you want to rename it to like utopia stadium P is how I have it you see I have it as back this is my volleyball file right here so what you would need to do is rename it exactly how the normal Utopia is and then put the Utopia file with the back. And that's how you would just go to Exhibition and then load Utopia and it'll load the volleyball map. So that's how that's basically working. See how this one's a lot smaller than the actual Utopia? It's because it's the test file. And then basically before you go and play another match or online, you have to change it back, otherwise you're like... Rocket League will crash every time and it just won't match make. So that's that. And then as well I'll say again how to change it to free play to do it in free play. In every map how do you do it in free play? So say you want to take Neo Tokyo, you just rename it to park underscore P and then put the back at the end of that and that's basically how you'd figure that out. I would uh, uh, my bad. That's how you figure that out. Uh, I would recommend backing up the file that you like back up uh, Neo Tokyo make a copy of it so then that way you could just delete it and then you still have Neo Tokyo there instead of having to rename it that's what I do so um, that's how you do it and enjoy the rest of the video right Tim yep yeah um, I got that down pretty well yeah the bots really just go for a cluster fuck in the beginning and then it just Scores. Yeah, I don't know if that, and it just randomly scores sometimes, but I don't know if that's actually how they're going to have it work. There's some real issues with the wall, I think. The wall in the center, yeah. It's, I don't know. Maybe you should get demoed if you go over the wall, not just it be a plane. Yeah, like, oh, no, get this. You get demoed when you hit the ground on their side. Oh, that'd be great. They actually, no, they have something like that. I thought someone were talking about a game type they had started introducing. I could look again, but that's probably what'll happen. I but guess, then, yeah, I think that, that works. That would that would be the best, because then you can come fly across. Steal the boost and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that just takes some real skill to hover and steal a boost. <laughs> no, you That's, just need to touch it. I'm trying that right now. It, it's not going well, just trying to hover and steal a boost. I'm trying not to fall out of the map. Oh, no, I'm going. Oh, they just scored randomly. It's pretty fun. Although... I don't know. We'll have to figure out how to do it online. Uh, not gonna can. happen. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We got it. Too. Not without editing the game files, like actually, EXE. Let's see. You need a shit ton of boost actually to be able to like go steal boost. Oh my god, my bot just ran me. But that is basically it. Just wanted to show that, share that short little clip. Well, of... do you want to share the the mutators that work best? That we've so far found, like oh uh, yeah. Also, you probably want to make the ball size large. 
Let's... Maybe even gigantic. Let's make it Let's gigantic. Let's see. So I have ball speed set to slow, ball size large, ball bounciness high, boost amount unlimited, demolish disabled, and respawn time one second. Ball bounciness high. Should I do super high? You can try super high. I just, those are the first gigantic ones I jumped to. Ball. What'd you do for weight? I didn't change ball weight. Uh, I forget how those affect the actual roleplay. And that is 4v4. All-star bots. Yeah, yeah. Max ball speed. I did slow. I tried that. Make it a little bit easier to hit. <laughs> and more like a volleyball. Uh, here, let's try that. Let's try how I have it right now. Gosh, so. the bots are so bad at getting it back over here. I wish I could set custom mutators like I used to be able to. Uh, yeah, if we had the custom mutators with this. It's very, very bouncy. <laughs> Oh, you have it on super fancy? Yeah. Oh, the bot hit it into, like, their own goal. Oh, and it doesn't... Oh, my God! It They launched the ball underneath the the, the thing. Like, the, the net. <laughs> it's stuck. Oh, it scored. And I scored on my own side. That's oh, a... gosh. Dude, I just got spiked by bots. <laughs> you just got spiked. Like, what the heck? Oh, no, but it bounced back to the arena. And then me and my entire bot... Team just got blown up. We all fell off in an attempt to my, save it. My curiosity is what happens if you change the shape of the ball. Oh gosh, you can. It's weird because the ball like doesn't know what to do. I'm gonna. Should I change it to a puck? Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, there's probably yeah, some differences it's just, between. It's just a gigantic puck and it's really spazzy. <laughs> and it's got a ball in the middle. It looks kind of like. If you were to think of, like, Saturn, that's <laughs> what it looks like. Oh, jeez, it's stuck. I wonder oh, if I change team, what happens? Let's see. Change team. Oh, it kicked someone on their team. Well, that's not nice. No, I wanted to spike it. <laughs> oh, God! Yeah, it's glitchy. The, the the goal areas are really weird between the goals. Sometimes they can get goals for it. Yeah, they literally got somehow got the ball underneath my. Um... Dude, that bot has it figured out. How do you do that? You <laughs> know, one of my bots is doing pretty good too. Um, like he imp just took it and spiked it on the the throw off. Okay, he literally drove straight and right when he got to the ball, he jumped. What happens if I make into a basketball? The What's game that? just breaks. It, oh, it just looks like a basketball. Go, go, go. Yeah, I got a random goal. Oh, uh, they need to make it so the camera doesn't just bug out when you get close to the edge of the map, too. Well, the camera doesn't follow you anymore. I know, because, like, for instance, if I'm going for a save right here, it stops, it goes into, like, this weird surround sound. Not surround sound, surround See? view. We may annoy the shit out of Psyonix, but, like, they should be glad. We're giving good criticism that they need to fix about it before they can launch it. Ah, uh, no, nah, they've, they've probably gone through all this, hence why it's still a test. Yeah. <laughs> Got... I mean, they're definitely, I think, I think we're right about you being able to fly to the other side, and as soon as you hit the ground, you blow up. They may have not thought about that, but, like... I think so, because I thought I saw they were working on that game type. In fact, if I pull up my mutator list, it's probably in there. It might just be in the volleyball game type. It's really frustrating that you can't get to the other side. Although the bots are not too happy about it. Hmm. Oh gosh, the I replay is so glitchy. It's a little weird, but it's a very fun thing to do and just to mess around with. So go to look at my other video to see how to actually get the volleyball map into your files and stuff and then change it over to a map and you can play with it in exhibition but you cannot play with it online yet it'll just give you an error code so hope you guys enjoyed this little clip and i'll see you guys in the next one